Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 and today as I promised I will be showing you how to create your own reservoir and here's what you will need. Number one, you're going to need a drill. Okay, handheld drill, any kind will, will work. You're going to need one of these. Okay, what this is, is basically this, this, this gets attached to your drill. This type of bit right here, it's a circular bit. And uh, this is what will create the holes on the top of your cover for the reservoir. So of course, once again, drill, circular bit, depending on the size of the net cups. This is a um, this is a two and a half inch, and the reason why I had bought this is because I use two and a half inch net pods that fall into here. The net pods are those black, um, kind of like uh, little cups, and they drop into the lid, and those are the ones where basically the roots grow out of. And that's where you're going to need to drop into here. Also, you're going to need a bit like this. And what this will do is right on the side here, we're going to drill a hole. And that will allow for the tubing to go through to connect into our aeration stone. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here, as you can see, we have our tote. Again, I've mentioned this a bunch of times where you get this. You get this at the local... Walmart. You also have your lid. Our first order of business is to create the holes inside the lid. So make sure that fits in right real nice. Tighten that up and there you see we have that going on. All right so what I like to do is I like to go three, three, and three. Feel free to go one. Feel free to go two, two, two. Feel free to go one, two, three. Whatever pattern you want to actually have your reservoir set up, that's what you want to do. I personally, I like to maximize the field, so I do three, three, three. Let's get started. As you can see, it leaves a little bit of, uh, of melted plastic. What you want to do is just peel that off, and there you have it. Let me just go and go ahead and uh, do the other circles real quick, too. You want to be really careful. This is where it gets tricky. The middle here is really fragile. Okay, You don't want to get too close to these. These parts right here you know, well, number one, I need an, another reservoir, but two, uh, I need a new lid for one of my current reservoirs. I actually need two new lids because I broke them. Those were initially my first reservoirs that I did. And the problem there is I just, uh, I came too close or I pushed too hard and this part breaks, then it's just a mess because you have your, you have your pot sitting in here and what happens is the weight starts to weigh down, basically the pot will just fall in, it's a mess. But let me go ahead and do the middle. Be careful, let it slide in by itself. Take your time. Getting it out also, take your time. Don't go fast, go slow. It'll work out much better in the end have a much better result. And these are still warm as soon as you take them out, as soon as you get the drill out, these are pretty easy to peel. And I'm just talking about the, the extra plastic that's kind of around the perimeter of the circle. Pretty hot too, be careful. As soon as you uh, take your drill out, it dries up so quick. See 
what happens is there's a drill right here in the, uh, in the middle. So instead of pushing, because when you push, that's what will break it. I let this first penetrate. As soon as this hits, it does the job right away. That's why I'm not pressing on it. That's why I let it do its thing for a moment. If you watch it carefully, you could actually guide it pretty fast in and out. This is actually turning out now that I'm not you know rushed to do it, it's actually turning out a lot better than any of the other ones that I've done. These are rough edges. You can take the time to make them nicer. You might be able to sand them down a little bit. That would be a good idea. Um, not necessary though. Let's go to the final side here. I wish this process was a little easier. But it's not. I'm sure there is a much better, more productive process than this. But I don't have that available to me. And at this time, this is how I gotta do it. And I, I presume this is how you're gonna need to do it too. Unless you have some sort of gadgets that I don't have. And it doesn't have to be perfect. nicer circle. It's interesting. I don't exactly know what I was doing, but it cut a much nicer circle. A really, really, really nice circle without much excess on the outside. And I don't know exactly what I was really doing for it to do that. One more to go. Make sure you take this out and put the bit in. And then uh, we'll go from there. Let's do it. All right, so for the next phase of this, I like to use just the blank side here. Kind of uh, realize where you are right in the middle. There's a guide for the middle actually. And I like my, um, what I like to do is I like to put the hole right over here. A little, a little higher so that it dips down into here and goes right into the aerator. Now um, the middle is right about right there so all, all you literally want to do is you want to start drilling and then kind of just kind of go in a circular motion around the hole just to create a larger hole. So watch as I go. That's it. Obviously you could have gone with a larger bit and done it much faster and way easier than I did, but sometimes we do the, the harder way. And that's it. Alright, so let's see what we ended up with. We have our top. We have our hole, you run, the, you run the tubing, put your aerator in, 
and that's it. You have a completed reservoir. I hope that helped out a little bit. I mean, it's literally a really easy process, guys. Um, but I wanted to make a video just to show you how to go about doing it. Little by little, the way I do it kind of on the fly, literally after work. I just wanted to make this video because I literally have maybe like 27 um, lettuce plants that need to get trans transplanted into the reservoirs immediately. There it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.